portraits. But portraits is so much more than just having a full frame camera or a camera itself, a fast prime lens or even an expensive light. In this video I'm gonna give you my approach towards portrait photography and this has nothing to do with camera gear. The first and biggest point when it comes down to portrait photography is communication. So don't be this person who is shy, who is quiet. You need to interact with this person. Stand there where you stand right now. Roughly in the middle, yeah. And then we're doing the arms around your body again, just to have a bit of up close. Okay. If it's pre-shoot, at a shoot, or even after, having a good communication will get you a long way with this person. Making this person comfortable, feeling welcome, will help you create better images. This person will be more open when this person comes to your shoot. Even just small talk, just ask them what they would like to have the images for, why are they doing this, what they're doing in their private life, what they're doing as a job. Just having a bit of small talk before you actually get started will get you a long, long way. Before, mid, I just need to adjust the light because we're not using any modifier anymore. And after communication, pre-shoot, at the shoot, and even after, it will get you a long way. The second approach I do is, or I call it the chocolate side. The chocolate side is basically asking the person you photograph which is their preferred side of their face or general of their body. I figured out that some people prefer the right sides of their face or of their body, other people prefer their left side. As an example, if I talk about myself, I always take my selfies from the right side with my phone. This might be because I'm right-handed and hold my phone with my right hand, but all my selfies being shot from a right angle towards my face because this is the side I personally prefer. And I figured out when you're having this conversation with this person you photograph, might be a male model, might be a female model, might be a family, they all have preferences where they would like to have their photograph taken from, either from a left, from a right, or even from a straight up front middle. Have this conversation, ask this person what they would like or what they prefer, which side of their face, and you will see that this person will be more happy with the results because they can they interact differently with this image. They feel it is more themselves than you take an image from the opposite side and they don't like their, their, their side or this face side of it. So have this conversation, try it out, see how it works and you probably will see that you get better images or results at the end of the shoot. Another point you can try out is play some background music. It might be on location, it might be in a studio, have a little portable speaker with you or in your camera bag at all times and play some background music the client, the model or the person you photograph likes. It gives them a different feeling at the shoot itself. It will make them feel more safe because they do listen to some music they like, they interact with the music, they might even start dancing around a bit whilst you're having a shoot with them. So music is a big factor in many lifers or of many people where they interact with the music it makes them comfortable it makes them feel safe so having a little portable speaker within your camera backpack or a radio or a speaker in your studio definitely will help you to get better images as well here's a bit of a talking point where photographers got a split decision about it I personally do show the back of a camera when I'm out on a shoot and I work with the model. I do show certain images or show the images in general at the back of a camera just to keep the model or the person I photograph engaged. It gives you an idea how the image looks, what they like, what they dislike, but also you can make comments towards the image, what looks good, how the lighting falls and how the lighting will benefit the image and the overall communication will still or keeps going and the interaction with the person you photograph is there. You keep both sides engaged with the topic, the model, the person you photograph gets a better understanding of what's going on. I know that there are perhaps people out they don't like to do this because you see the raw image at the back of a camera. However, 
to keep the person you photograph engaged to show them or give them an idea what actually happened is definitely handy to do so and I never had the downside of it that I showed the back of the camera and said, look, that's the image and got a negative feedback out of it. People even ask to take a picture from your back of your camera and upload it straight to social media to say, oh, I'm out and about and having a photo shoot with this person, which will benefit you as well. And which is also free social media for you in this case. So don't be afraid to show the back of the camera. Another point is when taking photographs of a person or a normal client comes to you and says, I would like to take some photographs with you. If you try to compliment them, they are more likely to pull a face and say, mm, I don't like myself on this image or I don't like this, I don't like that. I figured out that when I try to work with people, I try less compliment them but more on the overall image or what I have seen and what I have tried to implement into this image, if this makes sense. Let's say the sun is falling through the trees and you place your model exactly in there. You could start to say, look, look, the image works very well together. You in the middle, the light is falling through the trees. It gives you a sunset feeling, etc. I found this personally speaking in my personal way, how I work, a good way to start complimenting indirectly the model and makes this model feel more comfortable working with you as in general speaking they get a different feeling for this image. They do start seeing the image on a different way and interact with the image in a different way. And then perhaps they actually agree with you if you say the image looks perfect and they are most likely to agree with you as well. And the last point would be don't be shy to give any sort of directions when or if they are needed. Even though if you think this person needs to pull a belly a bit in because everyone wants to look slim on their photograph taken and it doesn't matter if it's male female families they all want to look their best so don't be shy to tell the person like sit on it like there's nothing happen with it you can easily sit on it okay. move your shoulders a bit right shoulder forward left shoulder a bit back don't be shy to give directions and with that said guys those are my five or six points how i approach every single photo shoot i do when i photograph any human any sort of human and those tips did work for me and they might work for you as well you might figure them out you want to try them out let me know in the comments when you've done so and if they actually been helpful to you as well and with that said guys like comment subscribe do all the good stuff and i's gonna see you my friend very soon in another video cheers mate <laughs>